The recreational fishing industry today is booming and the underwater camera market alone is set to exceed over $5.2 billion by 2025. Joining us to give us some insights on this underwater phenomenon is Mordan Trablus, Spydro co-founder and CEO. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello. So I've seen you brought the camera basically with you. Explain me about the, this amazing product. So this is a f smart fishing camera, first of its kind. Uh, actually, you put it on the fishing line and just uh, three feet beyond, uh, behind the, the, the lure and it records the, all the action. It goes directly 150 meter depth, 450 feet. Uh, it's hand-free operation and uh, it has a sensor to measure the water condition that allows fishing. And it's connected to your phone, you can see and, everything and happening a, under the sea? It produces a Wi-Fi and uh, it connects to the phone and uh, you can actually view the footage of what you record under the water and understand what's going on. So, so who is basically your target market for this uh, product? Anglers. Anglers is a huge uh, hobby in the US and in the Western world. Uh, actually number two in the uh, recreational outdoor and uh, there are about 50 million anglers in the US only, an additional 50 million in the rest of the Western world. This is our target audience, amateur and professional anglers. Wow, and I have to say there are a lot of underwater uh, cameras from all different kinds. What make uh, Spydro a smart device? So we put a lot of uh, development efforts into developing the optimal device that will not uh, change the fishing experience. So when you put it in the water, the buoyancy is perfect, it's like a drone in the water. It records the action, it has a wide angle, it hands free operation with magnetic charger, and it's equipped with sensor that allows us to measure water temperature, uh, turbidity, and additional uh, parameters of the water helps us understand what is the best conditions. And, and it seems as if uh, this device can help a lot to researchers around the area can you give us a bit of uh, a sure. few examples? We are uh, doing something unique here. We are not only using it to view the footage, we are also collecting the data from the anglers and actually creating kind of a cloud, a fishing cloud, what we call the fishing cloud, that helps uh, us understand fishing condition, fishing spa uh, species, and even to monitor water condition. You can imagine if a factory is uh, releasing a certain waste up the river, we can see it when the people are using it for fishing, we can actually detect that something has been changing the water and uh, do something about it. It's actually fascinating. And I have to ask you what brought you and the other founders to develop this device? I think uh, our passion to the sea, fishing and technology. The combination of the three uh, came us with, uh, brought us up with the idea to develop this unique feature. Wow, amazing. And you're currently in a financing uh, round at this moment. You want to grow, you want to expand. What's next for uh, the Spydro? It has been two years took us to develop it. We are two years out in the market develop, uh, selling it and offering it to the world. But uh, now we want to make the jump to the greater volume. We want to use these funds to uh, create a greater stock of uh, units and uh, to expand, basically. So you wanted to, to demonstrate to us how, how you operate this device? So just Give to us show, a quick, quick there is no need to cover. It's a straight just like this, connects to the fishing line from here. We can see it here. And uh, I will touch it with a little water. And you can see it turns on as it touched the water. Wow. So it's uh, automatic. Basically, you put it on the line and you forget about it. When it goes out, it turns off. If you want to save battery, it has lights. So you can actually use it for uh, when you're going deep sea uh, uh, fishing and you don't have enough uh, light. And again, it measures everything and empowers the fishing experience. And I'm guessing you're targeting also the Scandinavian countries which love uh, to fish? Of course. Actually, we have a very strong uh, impact in Europe, in the Norwegian countries, Scandin Scandinavian countries, and in the, in the Far East. Amazing. Well, we just uh, need to wish you a best of luck. Um, amazing Israeli innovation. Mordane Trablus, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today.
Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.